it's that time of our service for the world healing prayer where we get to join our light with those of others around the world to send that out to the great need. We remember the great need of our world and we seek to still our mind so that we come into a place of peace and deep stillness, drawing closer to God in prayer. Let us open our hearts to the power, love, and wisdom of God. By the Christ light and love in our hearts, we call to the great angels of the Christ star circle. Being still, we feel their presence and their power. And now with all the will of our minds, with all the love of our deepest heart, we send forth the light. We send it forth as a great star of light, a blazing star, a star of the Christ light, lifting all hearts into the eternal heart of God. By all the power of Christ within our hearts, we send forth the light to the world. We hold our beautiful planet in the healing light of the Christ star. We hold within this healing ray the soil, the waters of the earth, and the air, and all nature, especially the human and animal kingdoms. We hold in the heart of the Christ star the soul of the Americas, the soul of the people of the Americas. May the light of the Christ star shine through the hearts and minds of the people of the Americas to bring healing to mankind and reverence for all life. And now let us hold within this great healing star anyone known to us personally who is in need of help or healing. Silently, we name them now. And we see them radiant within this beautiful healing light. Amen. Good morning. <clears throat> Today, our earth healing intention is water, mighty oceans, tiny ponds. Imagine you are seated comfortably by water. It could be by the shore of a vast ocean or a tiny pond. The star of the Great Spirit rises above you. When you aspire to the star, its light and form is reflected in your soul and in your character, and eventually in your physical body. When you look at the water, what do you see? What can you see? If you look into water that is still, you can see a clear reflection of yourself or of anything else in the scene. However, if you look into water that is stirred up and troubled, you will see a distorted reflection, not the true image. Likewise, you must have that stillness if you would reflect truth. Truth will only be revealed when there is stillness and peace. By this simple illustration, you learn the necessity of control and calmness of mind if you are going to see truth. Since water symbolizes the emotions, you learn from this scene that the emotions have to be stilled and controlled if healing is to take place, if truth is to come through. Now, as though in meditation, lay aside that active brain. In your meditation, you may possibly see a pool or lake with lotus flowers upon the surface. 
quiesce your brain activity by the aspiration of your spirit, working through your heart as well as through the lotus of the crown, so that you may be united in the higher mental and spiritual spheres. Do you feel the power immediately flowing into you from the still pool? Conserve that power, that life force, that energy. Learn to conserve the spiritual power. We are thinking at this moment of the great need your earth has for the kind of help that the light projected from your heart can give to the whole world. It is a matter of pouring into a central pool or reservoir as much light as the human soul can give out. In your daily work, however material it may appear to be, take time to project that light from your heart. Let it be a song of praise and thanksgiving as you surrender to God. And in this state, the human spirit will find that peace by the still pool which the world cannot find in its efforts and rush, in its desire for self-gratification in some form or another. Seek the pool. Surrender to the great spirit. Find that inner tranquility and peace. Cultivate your observation of nature, all the kingdoms of nature. This will not only bring to you knowledge, it will bring to you a deep and powerful life force. If you can, every day, make contact with this central power, the source of all life, if you can connect with that spiritual strength and with the love and the beauty and the happiness which can flow from the lotus pool into you and fill your being, then you will be a dynamic power for peace in the world. God bless you. So Jeff has selected a reading on water called Mighty Oceans. You're standing on the shore looking out over a vast ocean, preparing to journey across that ocean. Your deep need is to be able at all times to catch the voice of the Spirit across the ocean of turmoil and conflict, to feel and inhale the beauty and truth of life. Sit in the silence, and you will hear secrets whispered to you. Go out into the sunlit dawn with the sea rolling upon the shore beneath you, and listen with your heart, and you will hear secrets whispered to you again secrets of which it is quite impossible to speak, but which come to you only in your heart. Our earthly comprehension reels with the magnificence of the stillness and the power of the sea. May the ocean speak to you of the eternal powers that lie within the creation of the universe. The waters enfold humanity in an enveloping yet impersonal peace in the grasp of an immense power. Truth is like the ocean, rhythmic and irresistible. The sea may lie still and quiet, and standing alone in some quiet place, the soul can reach out and become conscious of the vastness, vastness, the depth, and the profundity of life. You will know how things happen, why things happen, and how evolution is proceeding. The sands beneath the sea, like the great oceans, are built up from the unity. The whole universe has been created and is still being created from that tiny, tiny atom. You are specks in the ocean, your grains of sand on the shore. Your little personality is a drop in the great ocean. The unit must completely become completely absorbed into the whole while still retaining its individuality like the grain of sand on the shore. Each grain is essential. Each drop in the ocean is essential. But all are separate. Few have gotten as far as developing the self into the selfless. Be strong in the self, but be stronger in the selfless. 
You see the beauty of the ocean, while above you is a blazing star linked to your heart. Unveil the star, projecting light and love supreme from your heart. And realize that there are millions of angels working with you. Together you project this brilliant blazing star, the Christ star. You project this over the seas to cleanse, to heal the earth and the waters alike. Now it's time for our, <clears throat> our attunement for the healing of the earth. As we enter this time of reflection, our link with the earth and with the world of nature nurtures us. We reflect on our link with the wider heavens and the higher worlds of spirit, which uplift us. We are linked with Mother Earth and Father Sky. We would come into a place of peace and balance in our own heart, the place of light, of created light and love, the place of the spiritual sun. And so in the name of Father, Mother, and Son, we pray that we may work in cooperation with angels who are the inner life of our planet and its guardians. So let us rise now into the heart of the star so that we may serve through the power of love. From the heart of the star, the Christ light flows to the world of nature and to humankind as they walk on Mother Earth and with her creatures. Being attuned with the Christ star, we now work with the angels of the elements, the angels of the earth, of the air, of the water, and of the fire. We work first with the great earth angels. We see the light of the Christ star shining into Mother Earth, healing her creatures, cleansing, restoring balance, renewing, We work with the great angels of water to bring peace and cleansing to the soul of the world. We work to assist the angels to heal all the waters of the earth, the streams, rivers, seas, oceans, and ice sheets of our planet, to heal, to replenish. We work with the great angels of the air to inspire the minds and hearts of all people with wisdom and the understanding of the true meaning of brotherhood. We work to assist the angels to cleanse and balance the air element, the atmosphere of our planet. We feel ourselves now drawn upward into the light of the sun. We are in the sun, in God's heart. We work with the great angels of the sun and of the fire element. We are one with our creator, Father God. One with our divine mother. One with Mother Earth. The healing Christ light shines into every particle of our beautiful planet Earth, healing it and touching the hearts and minds of all people, all animals, all creation. We give our thanks for this opportunity to help create a bridge between the human and angelic life and to serve together under the Christ healing star. May God bless our work. For our communion today, 
we'll do something a little different. We'll let you lead your own personal communion. As always here at this church, communion is a private ritual, one that is held spiritually by each person deep within their own heart. Today, we will help you celebrate your communion with symbols based in music rather than words. To begin to help you calm your mind and center your thoughts, you will be presented with the singular bell tone of the bowl. Focus inward on each strike and let them take you higher and higher away from the earthly moment. Find your favorite place of peace and tranquility. Next, the bowl will be played as a singing bowl. As it is played, imagine the bowl as symbolically holding the bread of life, the spiritual sustenance. Take the bread from the bowl and bring it into your innermost being. You will almost feel the musical pathway leading you along. Then, the spiritual wine, the mystical essence, will be represented by the rain stick. Let the raindrops wash over you, cleansing you, nourishing you, and bringing to you a vision of peace and beauty. Take the spiritual wine into your heart and see the glorious light of Christ washing over you. Finally, the bell tones will help you return slowly down the astral staircase back to your place here in the temple of the Golden Rose.